Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm your host, Rebecca Rice, and I teach family photographers how to gain a life of financial freedom through a thriving photography business. Today, we're talking all about Facebook ads, and I'm really, really excited. I feel like I could talk about Facebook ads all day because there's just so much value to it, and if more people knew how to run Facebook ads effectively, then they would, and they would see success. So I'm really excited to share my screen and dive into all the specifics of Facebook ads. Now, if you haven't already, be sure to give this video a thumbs up, like it, and subscribe to our channel so that you know when new videos go live every single week. Before I share my screen and talk you through all things Facebook ads, I wanted to let you know about a free guide that I have for you guys. It's called the 3K Mini Sessions Blueprint. Basically, it's a step-by-step -step guide of what you need to do to make your first $3,000 on a single set of mini sessions. And when I say single set, I don't mean like an entire weekend or an entire day. I mean like a two to three hour time block. Um, you can absolutely make $3,000 or more from that two to three hours of mini sessions if they're done right. So this blueprint walks you through step by step of what you need to do to make that happen. And I'm so glad to be sharing with you guys for free. So it's linked here in the description. Be sure to grab that. And that way you can implement it and get ready for, you know, the next season of minis. It's coming up quick. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and share my screen because Facebook ads are so visual. So I want you to be able to see what I'm talking about as I'm talking through it. So let's go. Okay, so we're in Facebook Ads Manager, which that's really important to note that we're going to be in Ads Manager and not in um, like boosting posts. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and click Create here, and I want to walk through like the the basics of building a Facebook ad. So we have three different levels within one campaign. So the campaign is like the umbrella that everything sits under. So I'm going to show you how to set up Messenger ads. So I'm going to call this test messenger ads. This is the umbrella that everything is going to sit under. We tell um, Facebook what type of um, campaign that we want. We, the fact that it's going to be messenger and not like conversions or traffic or whatever. It, it's outlining the goal of your overall Facebook ad. Within the campaign, there is what's called an ad set. So ad set is where you um, define your audience. So think ad set, audience. Um, so, and I'll show you what that looks like in a second. You can do detailed targeting. You can do targeting by demographics or like interest targeting. All of that is done in the ad set level. And then below that, inside the ad set level is your ad. And so this is where you create what people actually see. So that's, you know, the, the graphic, the copy, everything like that. So it kind of goes, you know, this is our big umbrella and inside the campaign is your ad set and inside the ad set is the ad. So I'm going to just name these and then we will hit continue. New campaign, okay. So in the new campaign, <laughs> we're going to select messages campaign. This is my favorite type of Facebook ad to run. Um, so we will go ahead and do that. And then I'm going to hit continue. And so you can see here, here's our campaign. I'm going to say test messenger, messenger. <laughs> and then this is going to be test ad set. And then test ad. Okay, so they all fall within each other. So in the campaign, that's where we named it. Our objective is messages um, and the rest we're going to leave the same. In your ad set, this is where you can go through and define your, um, you define your budget, how much you're wanting to spend per day, you do your schedule, um, and then you define your audience. And so that depends on your um, 
you know, your ideal client, the ages, the gender, whoever you're trying to target. Um, but all you do here is click edit, and then you can go in and define that information. Um, you know, you can do different age range, or if you only want to do men or women or whatever. Um, and you can also do some detailed targeting. So if you click on detailed targeting, this is where you can target people based off of demographics or interests or behaviors. So for example, under demographics, you can go to parents, all parents, and you can actually target parents of specific age kids if you want. Um, under interests, you can get really specific based on what kind of things they like, whatever, or you can type stuff in here. So if you want to target somebody that likes um, CrossFit, then maybe you like CrossFit and so you guys would get along. You can do interested in CrossFit. You don't want to be employed by CrossFit because that audience size is much smaller, which you can see right here. So you can say interested in CrossFit or interested in and like just type all kinds of stuff in there and it'll give you um, different things that you can um, search by. And then um, under placements, you can do automatic placements, which is recommended by Facebook just to optimize your budget. Or if you want, you can do manual placements and say, okay, I only want this on Facebook or Instagram or whatever. Typically, automatic placements works just fine. Then in your ad, this is where you go through and actually create the ad. You add your image, whatever you want it to look like. Um, so like I'll add just a random image for you. Where's like a photo session? That one's cute. Um, so we're going to add this image. You can crop it. So like I want it to be like that. We'll crop this one just a little and that's fine. Um, so usually like a square works best. So I'm going to hit done and there is our image. Um, and then your primary text is what's in the caption. So you can type whatever you want in here that's going to go above here. Um, it's a good idea to hook people in in the first couple lines because that's what they see before see more. Um, but I'll like test caption will go here. You have to be careful about what goes in the first part of your caption because that's what people will see first. Okay, so you can see that all of this is shown, but let's say I wanted to say details about the session will go here. So you can see because this caption is longer, people have to click see more. So you want to pay attention to what kind of copy you put here um, because you want to hook people before they click see more. Um, your headline is what goes here. So you can put like some kind of announcement there. You can say now booking fall minis or something like that. Um, and then your description, you don't really have to have there. Your call to action, um, you can put send message, you can say learn more, whatever you want this button to say. Um, and then this is the cool part for your message. So if you click over here and do destination preview, you can see what um, is gonna be sent. So when somebody clicks your ad, so they see this, they click it, um, then it's going to actually send them into Facebook Messenger. And so you can have an automated message. Um, so you can say, hi, first name of their recipient. You click right here to add their name. And then you can put all the details that you want about your session right here. And it's going to automatically show up here. You can also include um, like quick replies, which would be um, like things that you want them to click. So if you want them to say, you say, um, would you like to book a session? And then they say, yes, please. What um, dates are open? And so it like auto populates right there and you can have an automated response or you can just have no response. So it doesn't really matter whichever you want to do. Um, you can add more quick replies if you want for them to add. And what's cool about messenger ads is you're not going to get a notification in your messenger until they reply. Either they click that or they type something. So if somebody clicks into your ad and you know, they see the pricing information and whatnot, and they are not interested, then you won't get notified that they clicked in, which is kind of nice to weed out people that are price shopping. Um, and then you can um, 
so yeah, so that's this whole thing. So you can do the ad preview, you can do the destination preview, um, and you can do preview and messenger. When you click that, it'll send a notification to your phone. So you can like act like you're receiving this and kind of play around with it to see what it's going to look like. So that's like the basics of Facebook ads, messenger ads. These are our favorite. We run them all the time, especially for my associate team. And we get tons and tons of bookings from them. Um, so this is, you know, the basics to set that up. Now, if you want a deep dive into like, what do you actually say in your ad copy? And um, what should I say in my message? And, and what other strategies should I do? What numbers should I look for? Like, you know, reading your analytics. Um, I actually have a Facebook ads mini course that I will link in the description for you guys to check out um, that I walk you through exactly what I say in my ads, exactly what I put in the message reply, every strategy that I have. This was like the brief overview. Uh, if you want to like DIY it, you totally can. Um, but I also talk about, you know, what to do for your audience targeting and things like that in the ads mini course. So if you want to um, go check that out, it's linked in the description. All right, guys, there you have it. Thanks so much for watching. I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions at all about using Facebook ads in your photography business, comment them below and I would be happy to help any way that I can. And one more time, if you haven't liked this video already, please do so if you found it helpful. That way it just kind of helps us with the YouTube algorithms so that other photographers like you that are needing help with Facebook ads can find this video. That would be so helpful for us. That's all we got, so we'll see you back this time next week with more awesome tips.